Hello everyone. These are 12 most useful functions for a data analyst using MS Excel. Okay, so these are the functions. Let's check the function. The first one is F, sum apps, count apps, trim, concatenate, left and right, value lookup, and after that, F error, value, unique, sort, and filter. So these are the functions that we will explain in this video. Let's get started the video. So the first one is the fun function is if okay the if is used for logical testing okay for condition based on condition you would like to fit something okay for example if the delivery days was greater than seven it means it has been delivered otherwise we will just uh, uh, print the message no so let's write okay equal to app open the bracket after that we will just select our delivery uh, day okay after if it was greater than for example um, it okay if it was greater than eight uh, or greater than or equal to with eight so we will print delivered delivered else not delivered okay you will print this message close the bracket press enter so the first one has been delivered because it is greater than eight let's check it other see if it was equal to or greater than eight so these two are delivered and these three not delivered okay so this was the usage of f we can add other f also nested if we can use nested if also okay if it was greater than eight and we can check another condition another condition inside this okay so that depends on your criteria your requirements now let's move to the sum f sum f is used uh, as sum f okay which is used to find the sum of values based on a criteria okay based on the criteria where you would like to find the sum for example in this data we want to find the sum of that those will use that region which is just the sum of est region okay the sum of est region so let's write now that okay equal to we will write sum f so upper opening the bracket now it has first of all the sum range okay this is our sum range that we would like to sum we want to find the um, values of that okay comma then criteria range okay this is our criteria range this one okay this is our criteria range and after that our criteria we can add more criteria also but right now we will just select this one criteria okay est based on est close it press enter so for the est we have 709 just these three one okay two three four and add these also it, it become um seven uh, we have this four okay so 709 this was the total of uh, est region now let's move to the count f okay it, it is used to the count f is also uh, as count f okay it is used to find as the um, uh, count of values based on a criteria it is also based on a criteria uh, counting as the values so let's use it right now so first of all here we want to find the count of west okay the values west has repeated let's equal to count app press tab after opening it uh, then we, we should select criteria range okay this is our criteria range comma then we want to find the count of this west value okay so let's close the bracket press enter so four time has repeated okay the count has become four times so this was the value the count f function now let's move to the trim the trim is used to remove um uh, an extra spaces okay the spaces which are unused it means at the end at the start are at the middle of the words so it will remove those spaces so let's use that okay the uh, trim function so first of all i will just change this this function okay like i will remove this area from function press enter so right we have four values for west okay four times repeated the count should be four but here we have three why because here we have an extra space here at the end of this word okay so to remove the space what we should do first of all let's for example here we will use like equal to trim open the bracket Uh, sorry sorry control z okay so just come here here we will use equal to trim open this bracket and uh, now just let's select our range close it press enter so this is our uh, values without spaces okay so now we will just update it instead of this we will use now this area okay press enter see we have four times 
so we can add the trim at the start of this also okay so it is used uh, trim to remove the spaces between or the start or the end of the um, values now let's move to the concatenate or oh, concatenate is used to just join uh, two cells the value of two cells whenever you would like for example sometimes you would like to join the name with address or url or name first name and last name so for that we use concatenate okay equal to concatenate 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 okay first text comma second text close the parenthesis press enter now let's drag it down like this okay we can add a space between these also so we can do that okay now let's move to the left and right left and right is used to just um, extract text text okay it means that extract character from um, a cell okay like this okay for example equal to left upper parenthesis from this uh, select the text after that how many characters we want to extract for example two character from left side okay close it so from left side we extracted two character okay and also the right equal to right open that select it and we want to just extract the first character just one character from right side okay so it will looks like this So now let's move to the VLOOKUP function. Okay, VLOOKUP is a powerful function in MS Excel, which is used to look up for a value in a table or in a range. Okay, to search, for example, okay, to vertically search based on a criteria to just look up for a value. For example, in here in this um, uh, sheet, okay, we want to find the region for name. Okay, based on name, we want to search in, um, region in this table or in this data. Okay, so we will use VLOOKUP here right now. Equal to we look up press tab open the parenthesis first of all look up failure our look up failure is name okay we want to look up based on name after that comma then table array okay this is our table array our data okay you can select this data after selecting the data call uh, comma then column index okay we want to search based on second column in this data we want to search based on second column this is the first one and this is the second one we will specify the column then false for example they are zero for exact match uh, close the parenthesis and press enter so the first name for this name we have the region is est okay for this name we have the region est now let's drag it down so here we faced with an error again here i think uh, it is the the error is based on name okay here and let's check it and dion uh, that is okay r a double n that okay or not okay that is okay but why we faced with an error that should be est mm, let's check it for this one g8 h18 g8 h18 so it is why because we should make it absolute okay we should make see it is selecting based on that okay this area but we should make it absolute okay we should just search in this area not we should not go down okay so for that we will make it uh, absolute okay so to make it absolute just add um, f press f4 f4 okay it has became absolute come here down uh, absolute g8 okay make it absolute it also now press enter okay so I think again we faced with an error. We should yeah, for here. Let's make it absolute. Just F4. F4. Now press enter. So that is okay. Now just drag it down. So that is okay right now. Okay. The the error has solved right now right now. So it is how we can use the VLOOKUP function. So now let's move to another sheet. Okay. Mm, we have used the VLOOKUP now let's use um, the if error function okay see here in the previous sheet VLOOKUP sheet we have just pitched the data okay the region based on name sometimes we just tried uh, misspelling or uh, mistaken the name okay so we will face the error like this but we don't want to display this error we want to display a custom message instead of this so for that what we will do just we will wrap our function throw f error function okay f error open the parenthesis and um, just come here down 
at the end okay comma if there was any error so display name error like this okay close it press enter see name error drag it down if there was any error so it will display as the name error otherwise it will display the region for us okay so this was the usage of if error function now let's move to another sheet which is video the video mm, mm, is used okay sometimes uh, whenever you copy data from one sheet to another sheet or from one uh, file to another file so that is pasted as text sometimes uh, an error for example here see to this error this sales okay the sales data should be number not text okay but whenever you would like to apply some function on this okay close it so it will uh, we will face with an error because it is text the type of this is text we have copied it from another uh, cell okay so to make it change it to the number so we will use for that the value let's first of all use the sum function okay we can we face with error or not uh, 1490 um, it means that text 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 1494 okay to four um, it means that we cannot equal to sum I will just find the sum of these two okay close it and uh, that was number okay that was it yeah text and text make it number yeah make it number so now let's try it okay that is okay now equal to sum close it and paste it see it is like this okay sometimes a cell is number some uh, a cell is text okay so then we faced with an error so for removing this error what we will do first of all we will convert it to the number okay this these text are and uh, these numbers are in text uh, okay the type is text right now okay so to change it to the number we will reuse value function okay select this whole data see that has converted to the number okay general our number okay so now we can apply the data on that so we will just now instead of that we will use these two function okay remove this select these two press enter sorry what happened equal to sum open parenthesis and these two close it press enter again we faced with an error why d2 and d3 sum sorry what happened to this 1494 equal to sum open it and number one and number two close it press enter 336 okay the error has gone so it was the usage of value okay to convert that to the mm, number okay text to number now let's use the unique okay the unique is just available for uh, excel 365 okay just to um, find the unique values this function is used okay to find the unique values so now let's search okay filter this okay we will just e extract the just the unique values okay from this list of products equal to unique now let's select our products how many products we have okay we will just extract those close it press enter see we have these four products soft ties paints books and fuzzles okay these four products now let's move to another function which is sort okay the sort is used before we found these products okay but we would like to sort this data okay to sort a sort is used to sort data um uh an ascending or descending okay based on that okay so let's so to sort this data for that i will add here the sort function before unique okay sort add it move to the end close parenthesis press enter okay so the data has been sorted oh sorry controls it okay the data has been sorted 
look at box paint puzzle okay and sub types sub ties so it was the usage of sort okay to sort the data if you look at to the uh, sort function okay so we have um, array for suppose we will select our array sort index sort order based on which order by column or what okay you can use these options also uh, now let's move to the filter okay so the filter function uh, so to use okay to filter the data uh, let's this uh, filter function is also used for microsoft 365 and very useful for uh, generating reports and for filtering okay we will filter this range right now okay so now we will filter this range for the subject french okay for the french subject we will filter the data okay we, it is a drop down we can um, filter based on method technology also so let's do it okay first of all we would like to fetch the name and scores so for that let's write equal to filter open the parenthesis then we will just select name and scores after selecting them now comma we will select this range of subject if this range of subject was equal to with f2 this subject okay so filter based on that comma if there was no um if that was empty so we will just write no score for that one okay for the empty we will write no score press enter see we have this data based on french okay for the french first of all we have this one we have this area code 67 okay let's change the, this uh okay math for the math we have these for the technology we have these names and scores okay so it was all about these 12 useful um uh, microsoft excel functions per data analyst um and you should know about this function okay as a data analyst i hope this video was helpful for you if you like this video don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel thanks for watching